And uh, I just want to read you from verses 5 of Genesis chapter 37 till the whole. You know, God has given a dream. I'm talking especially people that's got the vision and a mission for God. Those who's got a special calling to fulfill certain vision and mission of God. Hallelujah. Please understand that. You got to have that kind of commitment. He's given a vision to Joseph and Joseph has to go through a path. This is what I need to say. You have a path. You know what's the vision? He'll be the second person in the kingdom of Egypt next to king, next to Pharaoh. Joseph is going to be lifted up. And such a big dream, nobody could understand it. Nobody could understand it. You know, the path he has gone through is a hundred percent frustration. Hallelujah. And his own brothers have hated him. His own brothers have envied him because he's got a dream. His problem is dreamer. Joseph the dreamer. Hallelujah. People of God, when he's going through the path, he was thrown into the pit by his own brothers. What a frustration in I say. I'm talking frustration. But how God can turn the frustration into a powerful testimony into your life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And he lived and rescued as a slave. He thought, oh, there is a success for me. But success never lasted long. His endeavor never lasted long. He went into Potiphar's house. And he was established in midday. And he's taking control of the situation. But his success never stopped. I mean, what? His success never lasted for him. His success is very, very timely and very little time. Frustration. What, Lord? You brought me, at least you made me as something better in fourth world house. And suddenly what happened to me? Why I should be in giant? He was giant for nothing. Because he stood for truth. He stood for the you know sanctity of the glory of God. There was a, a you know frustration. He was into jail, and in the jail he was going through, and every kind of stuff he's going through. But for one reason, I tell you, he did not give up the ways of the Lord. Hallelujah! In the midst of all his frustration, he kept the word of God. In the midst of all his frustration, he stood for the word of God. In the midst of all his frustration, he realized the you know he realized his dream because God is so real to him. His spiritual life is so real to see the dream. How it is going to come true. Hallelujah. If you have a dream this morning, I tell you in the name of Jesus, keep seeing your dream. Keep seeing the vision. Keep seeing what God is asking you to do. Whether the world has seen or not. Whether your church has seen or not. Whether your parents have seen or not. Whether your siblings have seen or not. Whether anybody has seen or not. I don't care. But you keep seeing the vision and the mission of God. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord is saying. Unless you see it, you cannot bring it unless you realize it you cannot bring it to the reality unless you experience the vision of God you cannot make it known to the public you cannot make it known to the people around you hey your frustration cannot stop the vision and the mission of God amen church glory be to God let come frustration, I will handle it. Let come challenges, I will handle it. Let come unwanted circumstances, I will handle it. Let come anything, because the he that is in me is greater than the he that is in the world. What I'm carrying, the vision and the mission of God, what I'm carrying is something big. What I'm carrying is something powerful. What I'm carrying is something so profound and beautiful. When it comes out into the realm, people will be sad. Amen. Hallelujah. People will close their eyes to see your blessing, to see your vision, to see your mission. People will be, hey, whoa, how is this possible? What is Joseph? Where he is from? He's a lad and a kid and he's, uh, you know, just he's the uh, youngest of everybody and he's nothing good for nothing. And this man is going to be next to Pharaoh. Yes. He is because he is not an ordinary man. He is a man with the vision and the mission of God. Can I hear one amen church? Frustration cannot stop your vision. Frustration cannot stop your mission. And frustration cannot and will not overtake the plans and the purpose of God. Can I hear one amen?